Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is show you how we solve the mod of some function of x being greater than or less than a constant value. Okay? Now we'll take the first example here. To do something like this what we can say is knowing that this quantity here has got to be positive it leads to 4x minus 3 being greater than 5 or we can actually have 4x minus 3 being less than minus 5. Let me just explain. I mean I think this is fairly clear this one here if we have any value when it's modded, remember it returns the positive value, it's got to be a number greater than 5. I mean, if you had 6 here, mod 6, you get 6, and that's greater than 5. But if I had a number less than minus 5, say minus 6, if I mod minus 6, I get back 6, and 6 is greater than 5. And this will be true for any number less than minus 5. If you mod it, you'll get back a value greater than 5. So we have these two situations. And what we can do is we can solve each of these individually. So if we take the first one and just simply add 3 to both sides, then we're going to have 4x is greater than 5 add 3, which is 8. And if we divide both sides by 4, Remember, if you divide by a negative number, you're going to have to reverse the inequality. But we're dividing by a positive number here, 4. So we end up with x is greater than 8 divided by 4, which is 2. And if we work off this one, we we'll add 3 to both sides. And we're going to end up with 4x is less than minus 5 add 3, which is going to be minus 2. Divide by a positive number, plus 4, so you don't need to reverse the inequality. So you end up with x being less than minus 2 over 4, which is minus a half. So if we just summarize by writing the smaller value first, what we've got is that therefore x is less than minus a half, or x is greater than 2. And there's our solution. Now when it comes to this example, we've got a less than here. Some function of x being modded is less than a constant value, plus 4. So what does this mean? Well, for this type of situation, when you're less than, it means that the 3x plus 2 has to lie between minus 4 and plus 4. Whatever this constant is, it will be the minus of it and the positive value of it. Let's just show you why. I mean, if you took, say, this value being, say, minus 3, if you mod minus 3, you get 3, and 3 is less than 4. If it were just 3, the mod of 3 is less than 4, it's 3. But if this value were, say, minus 5, and you modded it, the mod of minus 5 is 5, and clearly that's greater than 4, so it wouldn't be true. So this value must lie between minus 4 and 4. And so when it comes to solving this, we tend to break this out again into two inequalities. We'll deal with the one that says minus 4 is less than 3x plus 2, or we've got 3x plus 2 must be less than 4. Now with this one, what I'd want to do, I think, is just to reverse it round. If we've got minus 4 is less than 3x plus 2, it seems sensible to say that 3x plus 2 must be greater than minus 4. And so if we were to subtract 2 from both sides, we'd end up with 3x being greater than minus 4 minus 2 which is minus 6 and if we divide by positive 3 here we don't have to reverse the inequality we end up with x being greater than minus 6 divided by 3 which is minus 2 and for this one if we 
subtract 2 from both sides we have 3x is less than 4 take away 2 which is 2 divide by positive 3 so again don't reverse the inequality so we just have x is less than 2 thirds so bringing these two solutions together we've got x has got to be greater than minus 2 but less than 2 thirds if we were doing this on a number line we would have that there's our 2 thirds there's our minus 2 down here we've got to be greater than minus 2 um, less than 2 thirds somewhere in between here so to illustrate that we can just say that well x has got to be between the minus 2 and 2 thirds x is greater than minus 2 but less than 2 thirds okay now I've got an example for you to try and I definitely encourage you to have a go at this try not to get caught out though okay so just pause the video have a go and uh, come back when ready okay so let's see how you got on well we've got the mod of 3 minus 5x is less than 7 and we know that when we've got a less than that means that therefore the 3 minus 5x must lie between minus 7 and 7 so we break this into two inequalities we can say that therefore minus 7 is less than 3 minus 5x or we can take the right hand side and say that 3 minus 5x is less than 7 now with this one there's several ways that we could go about this I'm going to reverse this round I'm going to say that 3 minus 5x is greater than minus 7 you don't have to do that you could multiply throughout by negative 1 I'll show you that later so if I was doing this now what would I do I would subtract that 3 from both sides so if I subtract 3 from both sides I get minus 5x is greater than minus 7 minus 3 so that's going to be minus 10 and you've got to be extremely careful now because we're going to be dividing by minus 5 and if you divide by a negative number remember you must turn the inequality around so we end up with x is less than minus 10 divided by minus 5 which is going to be positive 2 now you didn't have to do this part this way as I say you could have multiplied throughout by negative 1 and if you did go for that version let's just do it underneath here times this by minus 1 you get plus 7 so you've got 7 but you must remember because you're multiplying by a negative number same as dividing by a negative number turn the inequality round so you've got 7 is greater than we have minus 3 then plus 5x minus 3 plus 5x and with this version well I would swap this round again I would say that minus 3 plus 5x is less than the 7 and now I could add 3 to both sides and I end up with 5x is less than 7 add 3 which is 10 and this leads to if I divide both sides by 5 x being less than 2 so obviously the same result that's what we would expect but just another version now when it comes to solving this one well I would subtract 3 from both sides and we would have minus 5x is less than 7 take away 3 which is 4 divide both sides by negative 5 means we're now going to have to reverse the inequality so we end up with x being greater than 4 divided by minus 5 which is going to be minus 4 fifths so 
what we have, if, if we were looking at a number line, we've got the value minus 4 fifths, let's just put it down here. We've got the value 2, which is up here. We've got to be greater than minus 4 fifths, but at the same time, less than 2. So we would want all the values in between minus 4 fifths and 2. So this can be written down then that x lies between minus 4 fifths and 2. Okay, well I hope you managed to get that. Now in my next tutorials we're going to look at further examples where we've got mod functions on both sides of the inequalities and also mod functions and just a function of x. Okay, so I hope you'll look at those just so that you can extend this work.